What is the chances we're gonna find her? I did ain't human! Kill it! I think we'll be okay. Thinking I'll find her. Should be chilling around here someplace. Can't open the door while they're around here. Alright, lady, where are you at? I wonder if I can kill Morph's crane now. Might be high enough level. There you are. Good evening, Joshua. Wang Shang Hao, Dr. Reed. How do you feel? I don't... You should... Thank you. Don't... Goodbye for now. Okay. Let's go deal with Nurse Crane. Right? Yeah, straight ahead. Straight ahead. How are you? I'm not your... Goodbye, young man. has been proven by many. Even the flu is no match for the All right, there's Crane. I'm sorry. Before I should be able to take her. like a weird gas cloud. Stupid.
I'll give you a key. There's a box here, right? Treatment for headache, plus two. Medical voucher. Yeesh! It's a lot of stuff. Okay, it's a character's crane. She left the beautiful corpse. Kinda wish there was a fast travel system here. Go visit the rich lady. Okay, Thelma, I got your spies. You can relax now. Good evening, Miss Howcroft. How are you tonight? I need blood, Doctor. Tell me, Thelma. What do you really know about vampires? I saw one and he saw me. I watched him hunt and kill. I saw his terrible wounds heal as his victim died. And then I knew I was saved. You mean you actually saw a vampire? Here in London? Yes. And it has been the answer to my pain. I must drink and kill to regenerate my decaying body. I am a vampire too! You are no vampire. You are a delusional woman, convinced she is something she is not. How convenient to call delusional anyone who does not share your precious rationale, Dr. Reed. I have made inquiries about the men who were tracking you, Miss Howcroft. I did not expect a mortal to have this sort of courage. Speak, Doctor. Why are they hunting me down? It was a misunderstanding. These hunters were in fact looking for a very different creature. But they mistakenly put their sights on you. I knew it! I have become undone. Those hunters have discovered me but they don't know what I'm capable of. If you'll accept some advice from a petty mortal, I think you should assume a low profile and just quietly disappear into the shadows. You are right. And you have served me well, mortal. Take this as a reward for your time. Perhaps I will allow you to drink deep of my blood. One day. Thank you. I'll keep that proposition in mind. I'll leave you. Okay, I'll wrap up that quest line. What else we got here? Retrieve a knife. The real cause of patient's death. Back at the hospital. Ooh, some free codeine, baby. Let's go inside. To the right. You don't have to bear the burdens of this. Absolutely. You gotta figure out everything, man. So you how you win. You gotta do all the quests that get so you get more dialogue options. That's how you win the game. Back here, right? Okay, I'm back in the morgue again. We need to investigate the body, right? Jesus. 
Jesus, you're like freaking in the shadows, man. Sidestep me like a G6, man. Oh. No blood. I saw they're dropping blues now as well. That's pretty legit. Kill low level mosses for blues? Take it every day of the week. Okay, that guy. I have to kill because that's annoying. It's locked, all right. Locked. Traces of a pinkish foam at the corner of the lips. Some sort of drug overdose, perhaps? The chest was originally open to perform the operation. The sutures are clean, but the chest has been reopened. Multiple abrasions and scarring on the arms and legs. Old and distinctive injuries of a sailor or a fisherman. A puncture over the left lung. Possibly a chest tube insertion. Not the cleanest work, but I think it was successful. Signs of internal bleeding. So... Dr. Tippett's anesthetics were incorrectly dosed, causing the patient's death. And then he tried to operate on him again. Tippett has made an egregious error. It's time we talked. Talk to Brannigan first. Cochran Tippets. What a name, Cochran. Okay, loading screen of death. Here we go. Nurse Brannigan first. Gotta get the backstory from the nurse that was in charge. I missed that stack of cash. You guys probably ask those types of questions all the time. How did you miss that? Sanitized. I run a clean ship around here. Ooh. I'm sure oh, never mind. Who are you talking to, man? You crazy. Brannigan. Another night 
Good evening, Nurse. Good evening. Tell me what Dr. Tippetts did. I know his mistake caused a patient's death. If I had not covered up his error, Dr. Tippetts would have been fired from this hospital. I could not let that happen. You can't allow your emotions to dictate your conduct concerning patients, Nurse Brannock. Look around you, Dr. Reed. Do you really think we can afford to lose a brilliant practitioner like Dr. Tippetts in our situation? Perhaps you did it with the best intentions, Nurse Brannigan, but you took a great risk. Must I remind you that a man died? You mean you've never made a mistake? Never covered your tracks? Come on, Doctor. I wasn't born yesterday. Goodbye, nurse. Call me if you need assistance. That's why he praises her. Praise. Good evening, Dr. Tippett. Dr. Reed, any good news to share? You're exhausting yourself, Corcoran. Maybe you should think about preserving your strength. No. We must keep on healing all those poor souls. We are the last rampart before chaos. Once more, unto the breach. Nurse Brannigan is worried about you, Doctor. <laughs> she should not have told you that. I will have a word with her. You don't have to blame her for her honesty. <laughs> I'm not that kind of man, my dear Jonathan. Actually, Nurse Brannigan's opinion is the only one I may listen to. Kokoran, I want you to tell me about Mr. Connor. How did he die? What happened? He was my patient. He died because of my mistake. That's the blunt truth. What was the nature of the mistake? It was a twofold error. My diagnosis was wrong, and the administered dosage was too strong. Who was this patient? I don't know. Some sick man from the docks, maybe a fisherman. I had no time to talk with him. No one claimed a body. Why not stop practicing? Are you mad? I killed that man, I admit it, and it won't happen again. I have saved so many lives since then. I will cover for you, Dr. Tibbets by keeping what happened to Mr. Connor to myself. I... I don't know what to say, actually. I can't exactly force you to become my accomplice. You didn't force me. This is my decision to make. I believe you're still of use to the hospital, considering the situation. Then I can make you this promise. As soon as the epidemic is eradicated, I will resign. Dang. What will you do after your resignation? Do you have a plan? I always fancied visiting Cyprus. Such a beautiful island. I could buy a house there, by the sea. Read poetry, and wait for death. He looks like he's drunk. Goodbye, Dr. Tippett. God. Investigation successful. I think I already did this one. Thorough Strickland. It's the guy that you admires me. Dr. Reed. I this guy. Will prevail and survive this Make me a gopher, look for supplies. Good evening, Dr. Strickland. And good evening to... I located the shop, but it was vandalized, and the owner is missing. All I found was your order. I was afraid of such bad news. People are so desperate they're ready to burgle a shop for drugs. That's quite a list you ordered. Opium. Sodium hypochlorite. It can't be just headaches you're trying to cure. This dreadful influenza, of course. I already ran some tests on hopeless cases. Without success, I must admit. Do you realize you could create a lethal poison without the correct dosage? 
Then there are the legal ramifications. Is this not true of any medical substance, Dr. Reed? However, if you would agree to improve it, I'd be glad to accept your help. As long as you promise to be scrupulous with your experiments, I may try to gather these substances and even help improve upon the mixture. That's all I'm asking for, Dr. Reed. That's all I'm asking. I want to know about these secret tests you run, and if they can save people from this epidemic. Speak to me now, Thoreau. I know I may sound presumptuous, but I'm just following your steps, Dr. Reed. I'm casting away the shadows of ignorance by daring to face them. Self-confidence is essential in our line of work, my young colleague, but only if tempered with the correct amount of cynicism. But you never doubt yourself, Dr. Reed. I've read all your articles and books. You performed the most daring research during the war. Dang, brown nosing. You have my support, Dr. Strickland. I know exactly what it feels like to battle an unknown disease with only your mind and force of will to help you. Thank you, Dr. Reed. You don't know what that means to me. Goodbye, Dr. Strickland. I can't let Strickland put his patients at risk with opium. Perhaps an adjusted formula will deliver more of a placebo effect. Do I have those? I don't even know if I have those. Ferrous, tartrate, potassium, potassium. Wait, I need those sodium hydrochloride. I should have those. flowers dying it needs water Strickland's project could be dangerous I have a mind to report him to Dr. Aykroyd It's a guy who doesn't like me. Please. Feel like it's too experimental. So Who's Dr. Akro? If I can't find you, I will. You always knew who was to call the I'm quite busy, I know that you're a busy man. But I could use your help and advice. The great Dr. Reed honors me with a request. What is it exactly? Dr. Strickland devised an experimental drug for the Spanish flu that he asked me to manufacture. You know what I think of fringe medical experimentation? That's exactly why I want you to keep the result, Doctor. I made sure it won't harm anyone, but I'd like you to take care of it. I see. Put it in my cabinet. I'll give you the key. I'll make sure no one uses this medication by mistake. I'll do that. Thank you for your help, Dr. Aykroyd. Thank you for your trust on the matter, Dr. Reed. Do you think Dr. Strickland has any chance of curing the Spanish flu by himself? His wish to cure the sick is not driven by pride, but by an idealistic view about our mission here. Honestly, I don't know which is worse. You consider him a good practitioner, yet you will not report his methods. Strickland may be a rival, but I will not use dirty tricks or regulations to prove him wrong. We are doctors, not politicians.
Thank you for your time. We'll talk later. It's upstairs. Good evening. And good evening to Did you know Dr. Aykroyd never reported your experimental research, despite the fact he doesn't agree with it? Really? I didn't suspect he knew about my work. I must confess I am surprised. Perhaps he thinks you should realize for yourself the danger of what you're doing. See how condescending he can be? My god, he can be so irritating. Goodbye. Well, I got a key to his office. There's gotta be some good stuff in there for my reward. Give me all the good stuff, dudes. Second floor. What else you got in here? Well, your office is right next to mine. Dang. It's locked, all right. It's locked. It's locked, all right. Damn, locks everywhere. Now that Dr. Aykroyd has been warned, he should make good use of this formula. Chonk. Got new dialogue. Fastest way to Nurse Brannigan is through here. Good evening, Nurse. Good evening. According to the report I read, your unprofessional conduct put a patient in danger, Gwyneth. That's not true. I know when my patient's life is at risk, and I'm more competent than a lot of doctors that I know. Problem is, I'm a woman. I don't see what your gender has to do with your abilities, nurse. Yes, nurse. Because I'll never be a doctor, no matter what my skills. I could make a decision that could save a life, but oh no, that's unbecoming conduct. Have you heard of Elizabeth Blackwell? She was the first woman listed on the UK Medical Register. Change is slow, but it will come. And you will always have my support. To have the right to study shouldn't be determined by sex, skin, or wealth. That's all I'm saying. Goodbye, Nurse. Perhaps I should have okay. Let's see here. So that's everything in here, right? This entire area is done. Oh, I gotta get this guy's knife. It's your stupid knife, man. Everywhere. This is not the place for you, sir. Level Watch 22. This oh, shit. You pay shit now. by attack.
This must be Clay Cox's knife. A fine blade. No wonder he wants it back. Ooh. Maybe he'll give it back to me so I can actually use it. I haven't upgraded my weapons for a while. Come on, dude. It's killing me. It's killing me. Oh, chest. Give me all that blue stuff, bros. Oh my god. <laughs> so fast. Game can't keep up. Hey, Doc. I have found the gift. From your wife. In that case, you'll be properly rewarded, Doc. Clay Cox is a man of his word. I hope that won't make me an accomplice to your future crimes. Who knows what I might do now I feel invincible again. I'll leave you for now, Mr. Cox. What if I could have kept the knife and used it? Upgrading up my weapons. Flowers dying. It needs water. Move on to the next part of the chapter. Should we use a different ulti? That's my health. I think it's a safe place to make this stage in the game. More health. I don't think you can go wrong in any sense. Five experience short of that. I don't, I, don't, I don't use bullets. Confirm. Man. 
man. Every time. Headache, headache. Three headaches. Cold. 